What is going on, guys? It is Dunk back for another video. Been under the weather here for a couple days, unfortunately. It's a little bit of sniffles. But we're going to talk about uh, Cardano today and the potential uh, reckoning of this coin coming down to the 15 or 7.5 cent uh, area. I want you to know you can apply this really to any altcoin in the market. If Bitcoin is to correct further, it is going to decimate. Um, all coins okay so let's just first take a look at some weeklies we did have the weekly close last night it did not close well obviously we are well below uh, the previous week's wicks uh, we had that retest could not uh, grab it again and uh, we've broken down so what does this structure look like a little bit more zoomed in so this is actually Bitcoin here guys so we had this trend line right it was lost uh, we had the classic retest of the node and a rejection, right? So where does this actually leave us on the weekly? Pretty straightforward. We're in a structure that looks uh, much like this, okay? So we have this long-standing weekly trend line all the way from November, okay, of 2022. So well over a year or coming on a year here. Uh, so not quite a year, but coming on to a year right now. Uh, every one of these pumps seems to be uh, some type of news driven catalyst that tends to be how bear market rallies work and then we have one final capitulation down uh, how far down that will go we still just don't know yet and uh, we'll figure that out as time progresses here but the measured move of this weekly breakdown uh, is the entire way down here at about 19.5 so if bitcoin drops another let's just measure it out here for you 25 26 27 percent uh, and catches the node down here off the last weekly uh, inverted head and shoulders down here. Hopefully that's our bottom. That's what I'm hoping for anyways. Uh, it could get much worse depending on what the economy does. But again, one level at a time. Uh, alts are going to bleed, okay? And they don't really have anywhere with some technical TA to bleed to at the moment. Uh, it's going to get a little rough. So let's hop in to ADA here. So here is ADA's chart on the weekly. And what we're kind of looking at here, two different things. You have a range, right? Let's just get rid of the TA for a second here. So we have a range. So top of the range here at about 46 and a half cents, bottom of the range here at about 24 and a half cents. And right now we're at the bottom of the range. Um, this would be what we consider uh, at the current uh, nodes here. I mean, if we're looking at this current past year, we're at the value where low, potentially looking for a scoop to the upside. Uh, if we get that, I would be bullish. Uh, we could get some kind of fake out again. I mean, we got to get back over the POC, which would be 31 cents uh, before potentially heading lower or higher, right? But we wicked down below the previous, previous low. Uh, not good news in my opinion. Uh, let's zoom all the way out here on the weekly and see where our next support is after Cardano's parabolic moves here uh, over the last bull run. I mean, it does not look like a healthy chart, if you want me to be honest with you, but none of the altcoins uh, do really at the moment. So we have sound support down here at about the 15 cent range. I think we get there. I mean, if Bitcoin capitulates another, you know, 20%, uh, it is very plausible that Cardano is going to take itself for a 40% run to the downside. I would be loading up my bags if it hit 15 cents. Um, maybe a partial fill up in the bag because I think we got an even lower target. Uh, we do have a technical target here of the neckline on the head and shoulders pattern here. So uh, what you would do for this is just simply measure the... Uh, neckline off the head and shoulders draw the line and i mean this is literally pointing us to about between seven and five cents right uh seven and a half cents i think we can grab you know all the way down here at the liquidity low now one of these wicks right here i do like this level here as well if we just came out and stomped everybody out that would be about 10 cents or nine and a half cents but it could get you know super bearish here yet guys um just because it's at 25%, or excuse me, at 25 cents, doesn't mean it can't draw down another 50 or 60% uh, if Bitcoin decides to capitulate. 
Uh, we've had a long weekend here for the holiday. It's just been um, whales just playing back and forth in the futures markets. And uh, we've enjoyed that ride a little bit here to ourselves. But where do we go from here? I mean, on the daily, you see the same thing. This uh, It's a little wonky. I don't tend to like these capitulations down, but that's what altcoins do. Uh, it looks like a perfect head and shoulders here. You know, it's not perfect, but it's there. You can see the pattern. And if we don't find support in our base here, the lower targets will come. Okay. The other thing I want to show you here quick too is total three and where we are actually sitting on this. And just a reminder, total three is in fact uh, the altcoin market um, minus Bitcoin in Ethereum. So we've had this falling wedge on the daily. We can actually view this on the weekly as well. But here is, um, excuse me, I said a falling wedge. It's a falling <clears throat> channel here. Let's get rid of my guesstimates. So we either need to find divergence right here on the weekly somewhere, uh, which we may have already a little bit here, right? So um, otherwise, we're going to visit the bottom of the channel. And the channel, you know, it's slowing downhill here. So 35% drawdown in pure capital market cap uh, on the altcoins is not out of the question here. So uh, pretty crazy we can get this aggressively on the downside. Uh, we did take a look at this over on our other chart here with market cipher A. Uh, we did print we printed yeah we printed that blood diamond remember when we talked about that in discord here uh, we had this head and shoulders pattern let me just highlight it here a little bit for you the bottom top bottom you know head and shoulders to the downside and we still have a measured move left in this that's going to bring us down to about 20 241 billion dollars in the total market cap where is that on here so about right here so do we find our divergence actually right about here and we cut this channel in half. I mean, that would be ideal. Instead of rolling all the way downhill here. Um, we had the weekly blood diamond. You know these do produce lower levels. Uh, it did come out and immediately produce a lower level. So since the blood diamond was printed, we actually capitulated about 12% down on market cap. Um, but we've not... Maybe it's going to make me a liar here. But it's been a while since... I don't know if we've ever had a blood diamond. Oh yeah, we had one. So at the top of the market... That drawdown was about 35%. Uh, if we get a total drawdown of about 35% on all coins, uh, that's going to bring us back down here. And unfortunately, that corresponds pretty nicely with our trend line. Right? So one touch, two touch. Do we get the third touch capitulation down here at about 230 million? And that's the prediction right here, 230 million. That's what I have on both charts, right? Um, Yikes. Let's drag that down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and set an alarm on that. Add alert. So that could mark the bottom of the altcoin market moving into the happening and into next year. Hopefully, uh, it does not get wrecked as hard and as fast as it could potentially be here. Uh, but those, those are the numbers, man. I don't ignore the TA. Uh, it does just kind of tell us what's going on, right? So you know how these channels work. You got one touch, two touch. You got a rejection, you know, with a new trend line here, right? So a little bit of a new trend line. Helps if I draw it correctly, right? So new trend line that's going to get us into an apex here. We do have something like this happening. So we can watch that apex as well. Uh, and that apex actually takes us out to about January. Uh, if we do not hold that, we could break out or break up from there, but I'm not holding my breath, right? So Bitcoin coming down is going to correct all coins pretty severely. But the nice thing is, guys, these will be generational wealth uh, opportunities. Uh, the biggest thing I've seen out there right now is the fact... Um, man, bomb, I missed that entry. Uh, X.com is Grayscale uh, Ethereum holdings see if we can find this on the first shot 
So we know TradeFi is coming into the space. Arkham Intelligence reveals Grayscale Ethereum holdings across 500 addresses. Uh, these guys have been DCAing into this coin, and I would imagine other ones as well, pretty heavily. I don't know how much of the supply they actually own at this point, but this is an insane number. They are buying at every opportunity uh, on the dips. It's not them just waiting uh, to pick up a bag at a super low area. On September 1st, Arkham Intelligence, a crypto analytics and data tracking agency, reported, reportedly pinpointed the Ethereum holdings of Grayscale for its Ethereum trust. Arkham reveals that Grayscale either Ether stash is spread across 500 distinct addresses. Let's see if we can get a number out of them here. So Arkham identified this Grayscale Ethereum trust on chain. The firm posted to social media platform X. It is now the second largest ETH entity globally with five billion dollars in eth uh, this had not been previously reported or publicly identified so if these guys have somehow slipped five billion eth into their wallets with no public disclosures in the u.s i don't think they give a shit uh, about anything that the sec has to say about crypto these guys are poised to be trillionaires in the next greatest wealth transfer in the history of mankind um you know, on the grand scale of things, we are yet just a little uh, pee on a ball of fire and water that spins around the galaxy. But this shit is, it's just crazy, man. Uh, the grayscale funds are split over more than 500 addresses, none of which hold more than 30 million. This makes the identification process more difficult. Uh, we were able to identify the addresses by analyzing activity and cross-referencing with grayscale's publicly reported balances. So if you don't know how... Uh, these heat maps, excuse me, heat maps, but these wallet maps track coins. This is, I mean, what it looks like. So you have a centralized entity here from Coinbase. It looks like they have a second one here. And these are all the extended wallets uh, the transfers have come out to. Um, <clears throat> it's always easy to find if you put the time, well, I shouldn't say easy. It's always findable if you put in the time to find it. Uh, but this is in crazy. So uh, the news of Arkham's assertion of the terms, or, the, or whew, I read that wrong. The news of Arkham's assertion that the team has uncovered Grayscale's funds follow the company's identification of the fifth largest ETH holder. Our identification of Robinhood as the owner of the third largest Bitcoin wallet was widely covered. Uh, Arkham wrote on August 30th, but the most coverage missed uh, that we also identified them as the owner of the fifth largest ETH wallet at $2.5 billion. So Robinhood uh, actually may be a decent stock play in the future here. Well, I'm not a raving fan of Robinhood after the whole entire meme stock cabacle. Uh, uh, it just goes to show these guys are coming in hard, right? They would not be publicly putting this much money in uh, if they did not believe the asset class was here to stay. Do you know what 1,500% growth on $5 billion in Ethereum is? These guys will be richer than nation states, okay? And this will cause nation states to have to pile in as well. Uh, Ethereum is not going anywhere. We have given you that $750 target in a video just like this we're doing for Cardano. And I just want you to know, don't fear the bottom here, guys. If we capitulate down, these are your buying opportunities. These are your buying... Uh, we're in a buying opportunity right now. Um, like, it, it's not a bad idea to DCA into these price points um, if you have... Uh, still profit on the table. If you are bag holding, at some point, this is all going to be over and things are going to go back up. And with these large asset managers coming into the space, it's going to be insane. I, I don't want to undersell that. It's going to be insane. Now, with that said, I do want to tell you, you know, while a lot of these things will recover, uh, there are projects out there right now that are never coming back. If you're in a project that is completely void of money and, and, and runway of capital to continue operations and they're not tweeting anything out but memes and they're not talking about what they're building, they're probably dead. Okay, They will never see all-time highs again. That is just the, uh, um, the nature of the beast. Right, The stock market has the same thing. Like If you scroll up my stock list right here, you can see unlisted companies. Um, so Twitter... Uh, SI, CS, uh, BBY, BBY was BlackBerry, or excuse me, Bed Bath & Beyond, SI was one of the banks, and uh, CS was another one of the banks that just collapsed. These things happen all the time. You know, if I was going to talk about and throw one of these under the bus, actually, let's throw two of them. Um, you know, I sold completely out of my bags of Harmony 1. 
Uh, I was a huge Harmony 1 fan at one point, man. Um, unfortunately plagued with hacks. hacks. Uh, unfortunately plagued with hats. Hacks, 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 if I can say that properly. You know what? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt here. Uh, they have been sub one penny before. Uh, but this coin at the market top, you know, was huge. Right? Wow. So originally capitulated up to about 37 cents. I don't know what this drawdown is, but this is crazy. Can't even fit it all in the chart here. I mean, we're at like a 98% drawdown on Harmony 1. But plagued with ha hacks, plagued with, you know, developer issues, plagued with people not getting along, plagued with bridge issues. And another one's Phantom. I, th I was so bullish on Phantom. You know, we're seeing this range right now de deviate. If we lose this range, you know, things are coming down. I mean, that's a 0, 0, 0, 0004 percent sent target it's just crazy i already had that drawn in here i guess um other things i would stay away from influencer coins and things of that nature um i don't know if i even fan them on my charts here i don't think i do oh i do oh that's ftt um i hate to say it but ftt may be a buy here in the future with them relaunching but i'm gonna leave it at that guys let me know what you think below can ada hit the can Ada hit, 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 hit. Let's find it again here. Can Ada hit our 15 cent target? Can Ada hit our 9 cent target? And then, you know, can Ada double bottom here at about 7 cents before ripping to the upside? Oh, the one last thing I do want to point out here is the BTC. Here's Ada. I mean, we're out of liquidity at 17 cents. The liquidity finder here on trading different... Um, does not have anything okay uh, but i have the same this is a daily chart i have the same falling channel here drilling over here so touch at the top touch at the bottom touch at the top touch at the bottom you know technically maybe that was the last touch you know we get a touch down here and i have that long signal drawn down here just in case you know just to remind me that's where i'm looking for that shot back to the upside. If we touch this trend line, that is a buy signal, okay? And if we touch it, it'll only probably be for a couple seconds. So keep an eye on it, okay? Uh, you see how these wick right back up? If you have a spot buy in here, you know, that was a 25% immediate capitulation to the upside, V-shape recovery when we had that drop on June uh, 7th or 8th there. And that's how it happens, right? It's just a quick wick and whales are scooping it up. Like that's a 10% recovery right there. I would love to get an immediate recovery of, you know, one, you know, and it's tough. All right, I'm drawing this out for no reason at this point. I appreciate everybody. I apologize for not being uh, uh, as active as I am over the weekend here uh, into the holiday. Just not feeling great. But uh, I'll see you over in Discord. This is going to wrap it up here for Ada and we're out later.